Hi there, Mark here again. Um, welcome to my video about uh, spraying and applying the decals or stickers to my Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 7 WRC car. Got right by the camera. Hi, yeah. Uh, so, if you've seen the last video, hopefully, um, you've seen where I've prepared the body, um, cut it all out, masked it all up. So, now we're going to apply the first coat, which is going to be the red, and then we're going to take off this strip of masking at the bottom and spray that bit white after the red's dried. So here we go. We've got a nice clean line there, haven't we, Rob? Yeah. That's come out probably better than I expected. So, yeah. That's going to be white. Obviously, um, I won't be taking off the window mask. We'll water spray the white, white just in case we get a bit of overspray on there. So I'll leave that. I'll do the white first and then take off the window masks. So we'll just carry on and get the rest of this masking off. Okay, decal time or sticker time. So here we go. Um, as usual, I'm gonna start at the front. Um, I've already cut these out. If you look at the diagram there, we looked at the numbers and then I've laid them out in kind of the uh, the same layout as they're going to go on the front of the car. Um, and we'll just start with those. Let's cut a little bit off so I can get it positioned. So this one goes in that recess. Could be a bit tricky, but uh, bear with me. If I just get that right into the corner. This is where I could do without my big sausage fingers. Look somewhere near. I need just to get that corner out. And then fold it in. Like so. Trusty cotton bud. And just make sure it's pushed in. There we go, sticker number one. What I will do is uh, fast forward some of this so you don't have to watch me apply all of the decals. Okay, so the next one is going to be this big one in here. Yep, that looks right. It's always a good idea to do a test fit, isn't it, Rob? If you're not sure, it is. You've got the right sticker. Again, let's take a small bit off the end. And get it lined up. Yep, I'm going to go for that. Again, it, the sticker is a bit small for the gap, to be honest with you. Can you see? Yep through your monitor again I can't get my fingers in the corners so but it should look okay I think when it's uh, running around a track yeah that looks all right to me these look a bit fiddly don't they these black ones yes Dreading putting this one on, it cuts a bit off the back end. Yes, mm. it's a nightmare. I'm trying to line it up onto this bit of grill here. So I'm going to try 
get just the top of it stuck aligned uh, we might need a hairdryer or something to get it down into this but let's have a go it's gonna be this might be coming on and off a few times Rob yeah Okay, so we're gonna paint um, the air scoop and the two um, holders for the spoiler in red to match the body. Again, the uh, the actual wing itself stays white. I'm not gonna bother painting that. I should just put the sticker on that. So I've got uh, Tamiru acrylics, and as you slowly start to build up some coats on this. That's not covering too well, is it, Rob? No, it, it doesn't. I don't know what it is, but the gloss doesn't seem to cover that well initially. So, two, maybe even three coats I end up using. And you say you recommend using the smaller brush anyway, but it's just going to take a bit longer, isn't it? It but, is. Uh, just try and make it as even as I can. with the brush just use a very light approach to it so you're not pressing hard on the bristle let the, the bristles do the work themselves don't you yeah you're trying to I'm trying to smear it on So that's the last of the stickers. Um, it wasn't too bad, and it has taken me quite a long time to be honest with you. But uh, even though it's this, not the right colour, I'm still quite pleased with the way that's come out. So um, just a quick look at the wheel arches. As I said, the way that I rubbed those down with the uh, wet and dry. You can see there, Rob. I think that's a pretty good wheel arch, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's my advice is to, once you've cut it out, is uh, do spend a little bit of time and, and use some um, abrasive paper just to smooth it off. I think it really finishes the car off, doesn't it, with the, yeah. with the smooth arches like that. So Okay, so those were the last of the stickers on the shell, but there are four more stickers that you need to put onto the uh, accessories. You've got the spoiler here. We we'll put the Tommy sticker in the middle. Got these two stickers here that go on the end. So you just screw with the four provided screws and washers um, the wing together and the three pieces. And I need to now um, cover the ends with these two stickers. I'm doing a sec. And there's the one tiny little sticker there that goes on the front of the air scoop, um, which we're gonna fit onto the top of the shell. So I'm just going to put these stickers on and this will then just clip into the back there and secure with o-rings and some r-pins. I think it's just a screw in the top for the scoop. So I'll just finish that and we'll come back to the finished car. So there she is, got the spoiler on the back, got the uh, air scoop on the front um, quite nice that, I'm really quite pleased the way it's come out um, I fitted it onto my TTO2 Type S I couldn't get the exact uh, wheels although we did look didn't we Rob? 
We did. So we set up for some alternative five spoke white wheels. Um, more about that in a, another video maybe. But um, it kind of looks apart. I think one last thing to say was, if you watch right from the beginning of the series, um, I said I was going to have to drill some holes here, didn't I Rob? To, you did. To mount um, the shell on the rear. But, one of uh, our viewers, thanks very much, mentioned that the, the kit came with some optional parts. So I was able to take these posts off, which were mounted this way around, pointing towards the front of the car, and use, if you can see those there, these are um, optional parts in the kit there, which is a B4. And you also get the longer screw, don't you Rob? You do. That fits through. So, I didn't have to drill any more holes. The other thing I did was to remove the aerial from its place in the middle, and I've managed to put the mounts on one of these um, differential holes here. Um, and that's fitted pretty much, if we look, in the right place. So I was looking there, I didn't have to drill any more holes. Everything lines up nicely. Um, so thanks for giving me that piece of information. And on that note, um, I'm glad uh, you followed along. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.